Alcus rate in 2015 was 561. They are raising their rates to 623 per thousand gallons. The borough rate in 2015 was 561 and it will remain the same, 561 per thousand gallons. The Alcasan service charge was $11.78 in 2015. They are raising the rates to 1307 per quarter. Um, as a remark, a public hearing was held on today, December 14th at 6.30 to receive citizen comments and the ordinance and hearing have been fully advertised. I need a motion. So move. Second. Second. Question on the motion. There is nothing magical about $5.61. In fact, there could be some valid argument that says Alcasan is going up and we should match that. Many municipalities do that automatically. I point out that our sewage, our sewage rates continue to go up. Perhaps the boroughs should go up more. Perhaps it should go up less. We have a great deal of what they call inflow and infiltration, and we have to correct these issues. But we need to know what more revenue would allow us to buy. And we really don't have a good, I don't have a good handle on Now, I truly believe that we need to do a better job I need to do a better job, and I'm hoping that the rest of you, as members of council, will see the same. Over the summer, I see people digging up a sewer line. How much inflow infiltration are we removing? What's our estimates? I know this data exists. I know it's out there. I think we should look at it. Yeah. At least it's not going up on the borough side this year. So, that's when you say the borough, you say anybody that's in the borough paying sewage in the borough of Bridgeville? No. There are two components to your sewage bill. Part of the sewage bill, well, all, all of it comes to Bridgeville, but Alcasan charges us. Alcasan charges us, uh, charges us a rate of 561 per thousand gallons right now, but we, we get a bill and we have to pay them quarterly. They also charge us an $11.78 um, quarterly service charge for the residents. So okay. quarterly we pay, in fact, we're paying it this month, um, approximately $178,000 to Alcasan. That's part of the bill that we charge you. Now the secondary portion of the bill right now, we're at 561 per thousand gallons. That's the monies that we use for the projects that we're bonded to under the consent order to um, normally our projects run about $350,000 a year. Um, you're, um, we continue to work on them. The engineers continue to, we continue to videotape and then take the worst of the, of the, uh, of, of the issues within the borough and we do uh, a, a program every year. Um, our, our sanitary sewer budget is about a million two. Um, we factor, um, we, you know, we clean the, san the storm sewers, the sanitary sewers. There's a whole maintenance plan in place, but we're under consent order. So there's a portion of that bill that goes directly to the repairs and maintenance of, of the sanitary sewers. So there's two components. So Alcasan raised their rates, and they'll be raising their rates again next year. It was 17 percent the first year, and then 11, 11, and 11. Um, we chose this year, feeling that we we could do the projects that needed to be done um, within the parameters of what we were charging, um, and complete those projects. Um, so we chose to uh, hold the line and, and give the customers a little bit of a break this year. But they, it will continue to increase because we continue to be under consent order. So, so what I'm reading, so I'm understanding, so basically the borough is picking up what 62 cents of the increase on no. the half of the no. No. no community. We pay the 62 cents of the increase. Yes, right. we have to charge. We're going to charge you 6.3, but you're charging me 561. And we're charging you 2016. Five. Right. Okay. The, the total bill will be 11.84 per thousand gallons of water. Uh, okay. okay. Six dollars and twenty-three cents of that 11.84 
is charged to us from Alcasan. And that's what I said. We pay a, 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 about $178,000 a quarter to Alcasan mm -hmm. that, we, that we bring in. And then the other monies are put into a sanitary sewer okay. fund specifically for sanitary sewer repairs and projects like TV, and camera, and repairs. Mm -hmm. And we're mandated to do that. So we haven't yeah. raised ours this year. So they're going up and we're staying in we're staying the same. They're going up, you're staying the same, so basically we're still going to see a little bit of You're going to see an increase because of, of right. Because, and and um, their, their service charge is 1178 per quarter and it's going up to 1307. Um, that, you have monthly bills, so that's broken down into a monthly rate. So it's not 1307 per month, it's mm -hmm. you know, for every three months, or whatever that be. Very well said. It. Uh, mm -hmm. We all know that our sewage bill someday is going to be higher than the three utility bill. Guarantee you that. You can put all three utility together, and that's what the sewage bill is going to be someday. Not in the near future, like five years, but believe me, it's going up. If, if I would win the lotto, I would give this borrow whatever the million dollars they need. I will line every every sewer bridge bill. So that's done. Just to answer the mayor, we him and I we been dispute this. Uh, this water is it's impossible with a little bit of money to take care of that. The infiltration it's a big 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 situation. The engineer. Because we want this, we want that. And many times we have to give it to you and the council. We do it, and Lori said it in my full, we do in our meeting, in the finance, that the money we have. Can we uh, line all the student bridge bill? About to. That is <laughs> where we take, that will we take, they will fix. Very percentage. How many million dollars we will need to do that? Many millions. The one thing that has to be done is to provide. You, you see, that. there will be. It don't feel bad. All the municipalities in this situation. The whole USA is. We just. We just beg these guys, the legal department, the engineer, to make this longer and longer and longer. And they've been postponed. I mean, if these two people in general, well, that municipality, haven't fought for us, the, the government wants to do this in, in, in 10 years. It's impossible. And the project, one of the things um, it, it, in, our, in our projects are driven by different circumstances. Yeah, the, the consent order is one thing. We have also the level. The, the, the level of defects, we always have to go after the level five defects and level four defects. We also have some other issues here this year. We've got work that's going to occur on Washington Avenue, you know, with Pendoff. Might as well jump on the bandwagon and remove sure. that sewer. And there's also work on McLaughlin Run. We're going to do work here. So, you know, we, we have a, an operation and maintenance plan in place that rotates every five years. We're supposed to go through and videotape all the sewers. We've been doing that. But then there's these special projects that come Absolutely. up that we have to address, mm -hmm. and it's best to address them uh, as in conjunction with these other projects. I mean, the Washington Avenue project is, I think, is a is a real nice uh, opportunity because originally Pendleton was going to go from Chartier Street to uh, Bower Hill Road here, and the water company came along and said they want to replace the main from Chartier all the way down to St. Clair Street. So you know we, we was able to. Uh, Look at our information that we have on file and we'll make the determination of what uh, work needs to be done. We're in the process of putting construction plans together and we want to be out the bid early part of the year to get that project done. So we don't, I mean, we're saving, we're, by working <coughs> with the with PennDOT and the paving and the water company, we're in some respects saving money because there's cost sharing. Correct, right, correct. Right. Yes, go ahead, right. There is a very good argument to be made that we should match Alvin Sands rate increase this year and go to 6.3 ourselves. Yeah, we're going to select you and you. 
No, you, you don't want to sign it. Councilman, so we don't know what to do with you. It's not whether it goes <laughs> up or down. It's whether it's, being, it's whether we're getting results, okay, and what we're doing. We want the, I, I'm looking for the right number. Okay? It is not the right number. Yes, it's there is. It's a huge job. It is. It's the right number. And uh, uh, Mr. Line, uh, Councilman Line, he, he, he left me when I said we need $10 million just to do half of them. You yeah. see, uh, just because he doesn't say that. And he was right. I would have answered the same thing to myself. Yeah. You're right. But we do have a big expense. Uh, and we are space. getting results. And we're getting oh, results. Yeah. And we're doing work. We're doing yeah. work. Absolutely. That right. is reducing the inflow and infiltration. Sure. And, continue, and it's a continual continue, process. Continue, continue work. Let me point out something here. And Joe, I'm taking this off of the, the winter conditions. Just one, just one sewer line. Just one sewer line, the one that comes down the waters. Okay? Winter conditions, million gallons a day. <coughs> During dry weather, Bridgeville contributes 2.34 million gallons a day. So when it's dry, 2.34 million gallons a day. Okay. When it's wet, 10-year storm, 10-year peak flow, 10-year storm, right, Joe? 3.54. Almost an extra million and a half gallons a day coming from Bridgeville. And that's rainwater. That's in our sanitary storm, <clears throat> our storm storm. Right. And we talked about you know, the one project here, the demonstration project, mm -hmm. that we're looking at the location of a, uh, of a sanitary sewer that's within a valley that's behind New York Street. Sure. And uh, using that as a demonstration project, I think we have the flow data there already, and the possibility of winding that. And uh, getting the measurements to see if you can get that reduced past. So, okay, so, you know, that's one of the. Uh, John, let me interrupt you again because I'm bringing it up just, we know this, but just so that the public understands. When Councilman Petrocelli talks about your sewer bill being the total of your electric, water, and gas bills, it's to try and get rid of this inflow and infiltration. Right. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. And. Well, we need, we need to, to work with them. So, up, up the level, 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 we had a someone else agree with Okay. All of it has 4.49 million gallons a day, but the 10 year peak is 18 million gallons a day. That's almost 14 million gallons a day more during a 10 year peak storm event. During a one year peak storm event, it's 13.96. That's 10 million gallons a day during a one year peak storm of Rainwater, who, as Councilman Petrosali once said to me, you can almost drink it. That's a lot of information. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to try that, right? Yeah, no, we're not. That's so clear. But that so clear. The information is there. It. Absolutely. Yeah. That takes some. I already told you that it's, so it's, it's, a, big, it's a big process. When we went to those meetings with the other business, they kept telling us something about a watershed. Mm -hmm. is, is that for stormwater? What is that for? The watershed is the topography that uh, contributes to the low point of where the water drains. Like, for example, McLaughlin Run is the low point of the watershed. The watershed of McLaughlin Run is very large. It extends all the way up into Bethel Park. Everything that flows downhill comes to the McLaughlin Run before it gets to Chartier's Creek. So, there's, there's some watersheds and then there's regional watersheds. And then just there's storm waters. Well, you can, when you look at it, technically you can look at it, there's a storm, there's a, there's a watershed for storm sewers and there's a watershed for sanitary sewers. And they, they pretty much are the same, they're parallel, but there's, there's some differences. So now, are they supposed to have five up in, in, in their states? I heard they're having four now. Five what? Watersheds. watersheds. I don't know. I can't say it. That's how there's been any change in the watershed. Every time we brought that up about that water coming down into Bridgeville, 
down there that went to Main Street. So they kept telling us, well, we're going to have this many water sheds. Of course, none of us know what they are. I think you're talking about retention. 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 Okay, so that's now from five. The water sheds are the accumulation of the whole area. If you notice our, our library, perhaps, okay, we have a big retention of area. Oh, we, could have, we could have a more parking lot, but we had to put a big retention. If you, if you have to go there, come on in, on your right, you'll see we have a lot of space there. That's retention. And what we're talking about here really <clears throat> falls a lot into the, you know, an issue that is everywhere. The pipes that were used back in the day were terracotta pipes, they crumple, they break. All that water that's coming in seeps right in, and that's where we're getting this from. That's kind of what the issue is. Like Nino said, there's every sewer around here has some problem of some sort. What do you chisel away at first? But it's it's on all of us in the end. I mean, yeah. as a community, as a whole, everyone. I just replaced in my old house the uh, crock, the, uh, the old pipe, it all broke. Twelve thousand dollars just do the entire cellar. So it's going to happen to, to the old kid. <laughs> now you don't have no water from my house. <laughs> <That's a tough laughs> so far, anyway, that's a good conversation. This is a good argument. It's almost it's a dream when this is going to be done. I don't know, but anyway, we need. Do we vote on the other no? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Everybody in favor of with all the figures as it's being given to you and and you read it and then leave. We need a motion. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Oh, okay. Everybody in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried.